Yo yo my game musicians out there, this is the Obnoxious Elbow, Double O Sharp for short, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Discovery. Now, before we begin our adventure here, I am going to select a second Pokemon for my team, slash orchestra. Glaceon is feeling a little bit lonely there, so let's try to find a good mate for her. Let's, or him, I think it's a him. For him? Okay, so let's find a good girlfriend for him, I don't know. <laughs> And the first Pokemon I see, the very first Pokemon I see, will be on the orchestra. So I'll try to give it as much audition time as I can, and hope for the best that it passes. So let's just see if there's anything in this little little patch of wild grass here. Let's see. Come on, let it be something that's completely... Oh, uh, I, I take it back. Second Pokemon I see... Not first Pokemon, but second. Let's see if we can catch something that's other than Butterfree here. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Nope, just Caterpie. Come on. I can do with a Krabby at this point. I don't mind Kingler. Uh, hmm. Anything other than a Caterpie? Bellsprout. Hmm. Hmm, should I? It is completely different here. I usually don't catch a bell sprout and, you know, place it on my team. But hey, what the hey? Let's actually do it. If it doesn't, if it doesn't die, that is. Nope. Well, let's find a Pokemon with different defense. Okay. I should have actually taught it a better. Yeah. Let's. Let's just see if Caterpie can withstand this. Maybe Icy Wind? Ugh. Well, this is getting kind of bad. Am I stuck with my Glaceon here? Ah, Talo! I'll try to catch you. Even though, even though I know you're kind of overrated, don't get me wrong, but it's always nice having you on the t t t t t t t t Well, I might have to search for more, for more areas to grind up, I guess, or... You know, maybe I shouldn't have leveled up my Glaceon too fast. Oddish! Should I bother with Oddish here? See, the problem with this is I think Glaceon's attack is far too high. And as a result of that, it's... Once it levels up to a certain extent... Yeah, look at... Oh, wait! Maybe Quick Attack. Maybe Quick Attack might help. Let me get rid of... Sand attack because I don't think I'm ever going to use an accuracy downer. So let's use quick attack, quick attack here for my to replace my auto clef. And let's see if this new quick attack shall work for other Pokemon. I hope. I seriously cross my fingers that it will, but I guess we'll have to see. Oh yes, there we go. So, Bellsprout, uh, I guess you're now on my team. <laughs> Maybe. That is to be past the audition, that is. Come on! I am offering you a spot in my orchestra, my friend. Will you be... Yeah, you will be friendly, you won't be stubborn. Hoo-ya! Yeah, boo-ya! Tamed Bellsprout. You are soon going to be dubbed Victory Bell once I'm through with you. Okay. Nah, let's not name you anything. And spread, and, and spread, I will stead you in my steed. I don't know. I will now spread the bread on you. <laughs> Teleportation! Alright guys, so I have leveled up my Pokemon to both level 13, and my Bellsprout is now at a whopping level 12. So, everything is pretty much consistent at this point, so let us actually finally continue on because... I was actually kind of stuck here off screen. I didn't know exactly where to move on. And little do I know here, um, this bridge act actually has passability. Yes, look at that. I wouldn't have guessed that in a million years. That's actually pretty cool. Um, yeah, it has a priority level of two, so that's pretty good. You can actually walk, walk through this thing. Anyway, another thing I had learned here while off-screen was you can actually buy 
certain items they couldn't in the original games here. So let's see if I can find the shop. Yeah, I here it is. Um, what you can actually do is you can buy if you buy a whale rope and a bucket, you can actually fish for something good in the island's wells. Like for example, what I got from the village well was um was some fresh water, so I actually got some fresh well water from the well. And let me show you where it was, uh, this well right here. So yeah, if you actually combine those two, you can fish for something good. So that's actually a pretty neat mechanic that they, um, or he or she introduced in this hack. It's all good. Now let's actually investigate the other side of the village. And, oh, who are you? Oh, is that one of my shipmates? Hey, you're that guy from the beach that caught the Eevee, yes. How is it doing? It's actually doing pretty nicely. It's right now at level 13, which is pretty good. And it's learned Icy Wind and Tackle. You have a Glaceon now? How did you do that? There's not there's not any sign of ice in a million miles from here. Go out there and kick some ice. Yeah, kick some, kick some icy pants. Put some ice down your pants and call it... An igloo, I don't know. <laughs> okay, um, I'm assuming all these, well, quote, berry trees here are for decoration. I'm assuming they kind of rendered out the the Gen 2 berry tree sprites and added um, a lot more texture to it. Who are you? Items commonly fall into these wells and are hard to recover. Okay, we have another well. However, I've come up with a way to retrieve items in these wells. Here, take these items. Yay, I got the well rope. Do I also get the bucket? Or do I have to kick the bucket? No, I don't have to kick the bucket. Okay, good. So I don't have to kick the bucket for a bucket. In order to attempt to retrieve items and wells, you need to have at least one well rope and bucket. Yep. That's what I had experimented before off screen. The ropes are weak, though, and almost always snap. It's a gamble you'll have to take. Try it out on the wellness to us. Okay. That'll do. This will be the tutorial. Well, the quote tutorial for how to fetch items from wells. Oh, there's nothing. Oh. So yeah, that was all waste. Did I fetch something? No. I hear that the old lady sells them at the elder's general goods. Yep, that she does. The town's fairest lady who had been catching Pokemon since she was five. <laughs> She is a well-known prodigy in the world of po or in the world of futuristic Pokemon because this is, after all, a science fiction hack. Are you hungry? Yeah, welcome to my hell. I've been starving for day. Okay, I guess I shouldn't have said yes. Is that a taco? Please, may I nope. Finders keepers, losers. No, never mind. Yeah, it's a taco. Where did you find this? How did you find this? Taco John's, maybe? It better not be from Taco Bell. Here, take this. All that for ESP share. That's pretty nice. I think I'll go to Taco John's Nest for um, whenever I get to go out. It's so soggy, but it tastes so good. Too bad the nearest Taco John's is 12 miles from here where I live. So I, have to, I would have to get a carpool all the way out there to um, the next town and go to that Taco John's. But anyway... I don't really like outsiders. Mind going away? Okay, fine. I guess I'll leave you be. Glory be. And what do you have to say, Winona and um, Team Aqua Palette Swap? Okay, here's Pharaoh. That was pretty intense battle out. That was a pretty intense battle out there. My Meowth, meow, fought strong and is still recovering. Yeah, that's right. Must always do it. Okay, the help sign made out of sticks on the beach didn't really help because you guys don't even know how to fire a flare gun. I left them there in hopes that someone sees them eventually. Yeah, eventually. Of course, smoke, sig smoke signals don't always work in, you know, times of distress, so you have to kind of plan out different methods. And too bad I can't surf to find that, um, to go see what that item was. But, yeah. I guess we won't be doing that in this beta, I don't think. I'm glad I wasn't able to abandon the game here. If, you know, if I couldn't cross this bridge, you know, there would be no way to proceed on. So I'm glad I was able to finally find a way to cross the river.
Because, yeah, I would really hate to abandon this game. This this game is really good. Oh, yay, we have the Route 123 slash um, starter Pokemon music. Or, you know, the, the beginning... The beginning music to RSE. Which I do like. I do... I, I love the soundtrack to Ruby and Sapphire. It's probably my favorite in the game. It's probably my favorite in the franchise. Venipede. Wow, we have Genesis Pokemon already here. Already well into the game here, we're like, you know, starting the game off, and we have Genesis Pokemon. So let's give Venipede here a nice, good, cold shoulder, and... Whoop, it goes down. And it's down, yeah. Must always recall Ted Lewis from the Pokemon Stadium days. Uh-oh, here we go. Give me all the food you have, now! Wow, you guys are the famine causers, jeez. Please let me go, this food is for my village! Without it, we could starve for days or even die. Well, you guys can only st you can you guys can only starve for about ten or so days before you guys finally give out. You're not going anywhere unless you give us that food, give us that grub, or else hand it over, or we will kill you and take it. Wow! Again, R-rated R-rated subjects in this hack. Up to you. This is a level of will. Oh, I see. That's a new mechanic. This is a level of will event. Low for short. Each low event will be clearly labeled with a low stamp before each event. Okay. In a few secs, you will be given two two choices. You can either save the villager. Oh, nice. This is this is actually pretty ingenious here. You can either save the villager and earn one low point, or you can choose to let the grunt steal the food and kill the villager, which will take away two low. Well, of course, I know where I'm going to go here. I know how I'm going to choose. Evil choices, by default, will take more from your level than whatever good deeds you could do. At certain levels, you will gain perks in the story. That's pretty nice. This is a pretty nice system. But those are for you to find. Choose wisely as the story alters to what choices you make. So it is like Walking Dead. Look at that. It's kind of a point... It's kind of a point and click kind of game. What choice will you make? Do nothing, of course. Save the villager. You chose to save the villager and earned one low point. Who the hell are you? You want to fight then? Let's go. Yeah, let's have a fight here. Because you guys are going to lose. You guys are definitely going to lose to both my grassy bell, my grassy wedding bell, and my very cold, shivery dog. Shiver me timbers, arg. Your Zubat here is going to fall to ye icy wind, arg. That's right. Say bye-bye, Bat. Go down to Davy Jones' locker with ya. Arg. Walk the plank, you matey. How dare you. Yeah, that's right. You get out of here, Team Renegade. Because no one likes your style. You think you're getting off that easy, pug? Yay, I give it a Brooklyn accent. <laughs> because that's what I do. That's what I do, you little, um, Misty with a beret. Well, you know, Misty with a haircut and a beret. But yeah, Houndour, neat. Um, actually not neat because I am ice. And it's amazing how we're starting off very hard here. So yeah, let's just keep using Quick Attack until, you know, the third turn. Small, oh yay, I forgot. Smog may poison you, which it, you know, serendipitously does. But either way, Houndour will go down, even if my Glaceon succumbs to its martyrdom. Get out of here. Impossible! Impossible! This cannot happen to me. Oh no, not Fantastico. We'll return for you, you intrusive bastard. Wow. Okay, go, go, go! Do we get the food? Wow, that was amazing. Thank you for saving me. Had you not come, I'm sure they would have robbed and killed me. Yep. Here's a little reward. I'm sure my village won't mind. Oh, don't tell me you're going to... Well, I got a Rostberry, so I assume the rest is going to be for the surplus. Oh, we'll put away. Yep. Don't give me all your food here. You need the food in order to survive. I got a Aguav. Okay. Good luck on your travels, and thank you again, Berry Master. Yeah, go. And yay, it became daytime now. <laughs> I don't know why it just became daytime once I 
freed that villager from Team Renegade's clasp. I don't know. I have no idea what's going on here. But yeah, that's... That's actually pretty cool. I like the new um, Walking Dead as concept here. It's pretty cool. It's kind of a new way to introduce... Intro it's, a, it's a good way to introduce new... Um... Okay, new facets in a Pokemon game. <laughs> As opposed to the, you know, the obligatory... Go, go get eight gym badges, beat Team Rocket, or, you know, Team... Whatever the new syndicate is, and, um... Oh, I forgot I can actually go inside houses and heal up. <laughs> I don't have to go to the specific one. Even though I will anyway, because I already have done so. But yeah, it's not, it's not the obligatory earn eight gym badges, battle team, so-and-so, go to the Elite Four, win, become champion. It's not like that. It's more... This thing's a little bit more interesting here, which I have to give him credit, or give, give him or her credit for, because I have no idea if the hacker is a he or a she. I'm assuming it's a he, because most of the people on the internet are, you know, especially gamers, are either, are either you know, male or neuter. But yeah, anyway, I think, I think with all that being said and done here, I think I'm ready to wrap this whole episode up, and I... Th Judging by the fact that I'm doing this on Saturday, I think I'm only going to have one episode up here. So this is going to be the second half of part three. So I won't be doing parts four or five until... Or actually, no, part four, yeah. I won't be doing parts five or six. Hello, CDOT. It's nice seeing you here. I won't be doing parts five and six until next week. So be on the lookout for those guys. Get on your gold goggles. Don't go in the desert. Don't burn your eyes out while doing so. Don't look at the sun while doing so. And uh, hello, um, hello, um, girl with a Ludwig von Beethoven kind of haircut. <laughs> okay. Anyway, that should do it here. And next time on Pokemon Discovery, we will, we will be continuing on with more hijinks and. Um, episodes, um, episodes 3 through 5 of Super Mario RPG should also be up by the time, or actually, um, episodes, the first two episodes of Super Mario RPG will be up for this week, and that, and the, um, week after that it will be, um, 3 through, 3 through 5, so, again, be on the lookout for more Weekend of Hacks and more regular console dope, so, until then, guys, see you guys later.